in this video. I gonna show you a NLA friendly stick earring. This is traditional slip earring. This is stick earring. This is slippy. This is sticky. And both. Here is basic concept. These are normal IK feet. And walk cycle. Remaining two bones have no parent, but exist in same armature. Then copy X and Y position but Z to the IK foot bone. Rotation is copied on Z axis only. So, if we create parallel action which the two bones repeat stop and go, IK bones also follow stop and go. To understanding more clearly, let the rig walk. First, slip your rig should slip. So, I make it slip. Unfortunately, it doesn't slip. Yes, it is slipping. Next, put keyframes of the two bones by referring IK feet position. In this example, one walk cycle takes 40 frames. Therefore one stride takes 20 frames which can be forwarded by pressing shift plus upper arrow twice. Putting keyframes is done. Then stick to the two bones by upping influence slider. At this point, rig's movement is still not we expected, because two bones are always moving. One stride is 20 frames, it means each foot steps keep its position for 20 frames each. To achieve 20 frames long pause, just duplicate the keyframes with Shift plus D key, and move 20 frames by pressing 20 on numpad. That's it. This is the basic idea. This is improved one. Hierarchy is tweaked for easier proxy use. It can deal with the height. The style changes the key level. This ups vertical range. This changes foot roll. To deal with height, I added bones to know current progress of the walk cycle. These keyframe bones are used as a variable in the driver panel. I learned how to use these panels by human rigging DVD. If you can't understand what these are, I recommend the DVD. Because I couldn't understand until I watched it. Thanks for watching.